of the things in the Katana Artist have been built from the, the ground up. We took a lot of feedback from, from people um, about what can we do to uh, take this up to the, the next level. So we took all the, the key things that make a Katana ramp really good and then developed them. The Katana Artist is going to have a lot more pro-end features on board, such as the five amp voicings. They've been retuned, they've been revoiced. We've actually managed to get a lot more out of them because of the Wazacraft speaker. Uh, this is a boutique high-end custom shop speaker, really vintage. It's that really old school flavor, um, almost breeds the sound of a broken in speaker. And uh, the cabinet itself has been uh, changed, so it's a lot thicker. Uh, which means it's going to have a lot more resonance on the low end. It's got a bit more punch to it. The cabinet semi-closed back. So while it retains that nice airy sound, which moves a lot of air, with it being semi-closed, it adds a bit more definition bottom end. We've got some professional I.O. options, such as MIDI in, so you can control it with a MIDI floorboard. It could be your Boss ES series or the Boss MS series. Uh, it's also if you've got a favorite uh, speaker cabinet, You've now got a speaker cabinet out, so you can add your favorite speaker as well if you want to use that as well at the same time. All the same things that are in the Boss Katana amp, you know, all them inbuilt effects. You've got up to 58 when you connect via software. And it's got some physical controls added to it now that were only accessed via the software previously. So you've got cabinet resonance. So you've got, um, you've got vintage, modern. Uh, you've also got the deep sound. So again, you can personalize that depending on the type of cabinet resonance sound you want. You've also got the line out air feel. Again, Boss has done a lot of technology um, or utilized it where they, if you want to record via software, they've got some really high grade mics and stuff like that, which they've used. And then you literally choose the one that's suitable for you. There's a couple of things I think which are unique about Katana Ramps that people may, may not know. And it opened my eyes when I uh, found out about this. Uh, input stage on a Katana Ramp. These have been optimized. This is a very, very key component within your signal chain is the input stage, what you plug into. Um, if you can keep that input stage as pure as possible, instantly you're onto a winner. Uh, and it also enables you then to be able to plug pedals in front of this. You know, you may have your favorite pedals that go everywhere with you. And Katana amplifiers are commonly known as really good pedal platforms. So you can plug anything in, they sound really good. Um, the next thing about the Katana amplifiers is that they're Class AB power amplifiers, uh, which is, again, that's, that's, that's quite unique in, in amps of this range. But these are amps that are really dynamic and they interact with the next key component, which I think is the speaker that's in them. There's a hell of a lot of work gone in to look at why vintage broken in speakers sound so good and how it interacts with you know, the Class AB power amplifier. So much so that when you're on a stage, you know, when you turn a Katana amplifier up, you actually experience what a Katana amp is, which means it's one of them old school amps that moves a lot of air. You can be heard in a mix on a stage, which is always key for a guitar player. Um, but also, if you want to, you know, you've got power control, switch it down to half a watt, you can play at home and retain that, you know, those dynamics and uh, to make it personal to you. Uh, as a player and 58 boss effects compact pedals that you can access via your tone studio tweak personalize them make them yours save them instant recall so when you connect to the boss tone studio what you'll find in there is a added noise suppressor which you can then add so if you use a lot of high gain sounds you can control the amount of feedback any unwanted noise uh, in the background um, you can then save that into one of your favorite settings. You can access this via the, um, pressing the button on the amp, or if you want to access it live on the fly, you may want to look at like the, the added foot control, the GAFC. Um, that means you can access all your settings uh, and the effects on the fly. There's a lot of features within a Katana ramp that I would say are for everyone, not just a specific person. So, you know, if you're a beginner, if you've been playing like me many years, but still feel like a beginner, you know, try the Katana Artist out. There's definitely things on there that you'll find appealing to you. <laughs>